We have breaking news now. The NPR senior editor who revealed to the world the invasive liberal bias at NPR has just resigned. Now, remember, we first reported to you Uri Berliner was suspended for five days without pay this week. And that happened after he wrote the article that you see there, the headline of In the Free Press last week. Chief Washington correspondent Mike Emanuel. Mike, this was quick. No doubt about it, Harris. Uh, after those public comments about pervasive left-wing bias at NPR, now the senior editor, Uri, Uri Berliner, writing on X, quote, I'm resigning from NPR, a great American institution where I have worked for 25 years. I don't support calls to defund NPR. I respect the integrity of my colleagues and wish for NPR to thrive and do important journalism. But I cannot work in a newsroom where I am disparaged by a new CEO whose divisive views confirm the very problems at NPR I cite in my free press essay. In the fallout of his scathing public commentary about NPR, Berliner wrote in the free press, quote, it is true NPR has always had a liberal bent, but during most of my tenure here, an open-minded, curious culture prevailed. We were nerdy, but not knee-jerk activist or scolding. In recent years, however, that has changed. In response, Editor-in-Chief Edith Chapman said she strongly disagreed in a memo to staff obtained by Fox, quote, we're proud to stand behind the exceptional work that our desks and shows do to cover a wide range of challenging stories. We believe that inclusion among our staff, with our sourcing, and in our overall coverage is critical to telling the nuanced stories of this country and our world. Berliner gave examples criticizing coverage of Russiagate in the 2016 election, embracing the theory of systemic racism, and dismissing the possibility COVID escaped from the Wuhan lab. Key conservatives on Capitol Hill say this is really no surprise. Berliner says the election of Donald Trump in 2016 was greeted at NPR with a mixture of disbelief, anger, and despair, and he maintains coverage shifted toward efforts to damage or topple President Trump's presidency. Harris? Wow, that's a lot. So he told the truth. They put pressure on him. The CEO leaned in hard. He quit. And can you blame him? Blame him. They made it quite clear he wasn't welcome for telling the truth. Mike Emanuel, thank you very much for being with me on the breaking news. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.